this video, we're going to help this new reach second C using the mythical legendary spin fruit. Wait a minute! Where the actor slam oh, there it is. forward! There's your slam! There's the dump! Okay, to start it off, what is our first kill? For our first kill, we got the Razor Wind at Mastery 1. So let's try this by defeating bandits. So first, lore 5. Good thing it is multi-target which will make our grinding faster. You need to hold the Z skill to maximize the damage. Okay, so at level 10, next island, the Fountain City. So what you're gonna do here is lure a galley pirate. There you go. And aside from using your Z skill to damage your enemy, you can also use your left clicks under combat. There are times that your enemy might climb up, just go in the other side, and continue attacking him with your Z skill and your left clicks. A few moments later, with just one kill, you will level up 14 times. Then you will unlock your second skill, the helicopter flight. Let's try it. Traveling will be a lot faster now. Keep on grinding here, and you will unlock your third skill, the tornado assault. Let's check it out. There you go. You're gonna end your grinding here at level 55, and after that, let's do some stat check first. Here you go 40 melee, 40 defense and 88 blocks foot. Next area is the pirate village. We're gonna start defeating Bobby, the mini boss in this island. This is located here. Just use your Z skill as your main damage. Guys, you can only maximize the damage of the tornado assault when your enemy is in a closed area or something is above him. Okay, so let me show it to you. There you go. So here in this area, as you can see, something is above your enemy. Tornado Assault has a higher damage output compared to your Razor Wind, but it is harder to hit your enemy with it. We're gonna grind here at level 75, stat check, 40 melee defense, 145 blast fruits. Next island is the desert. So here we're gonna start with the desert officers. We skip the desert bandits because Bobby gives out higher experience and higher money. The only problem is the mastery, okay? So there you go. For the desert officers, we're just gonna lure 4, you know, defeat them and door two after that to finish the quest. Right, they're easy to defeat. Our goal here is to reach level 90. Okay, so stat check after that, 40 melee defense, 190 blast fruit. Next up, we're gonna buy a black cape that is located in the marine fortress for 50,000 bellies. This will increase your damage. Also, it will add some HP and defense. Next area is the frozen village. We're gonna buy the Buso, Soro, and Flash Step here for a total of 135,000 bellies. After that, we're gonna start grinding the Snow Bandits. So here, we're gonna lure 5. Yes, 5. First, you can use your Exit Skill. There you go, to lure 3. Next up, you can use your Combat to lure 2 more. There you go, and use your Z Skill and X Skill to damage your enemy, okay? There you go, you need to defeat 7, so 5, 2, or 5, and 5 again for more Mastery. Okay, the goal here is to reach level 105 and after that, let's start defeating the Yeti. The mini boss in this island, so how do you defeat him? Use your Z and X skill. There you go, after that, cool down first, dodge your enemies, and use your skill. And that's it guys, very simple strategy, the hit and run, or the skill, dodge the skill. There you go, our goal here is to reach level 130. After reaching that level, stat check, melee 74, defense 74, 245 blast fruits. Next island is the marine fortress. So from here on guys, everything will be a lot faster. Believe me guys, okay? So first, we're gonna start defeating the vice admiral, he's located here. So two ways to defeat him. One is you can defeat him head on, use your skills, dodge to the side, and use your skills. Or guys, you can just go here in the wall, there you go, and use your skills. Okay, that's it. It's very easy to defeat him here. Avoid using your X skill. Just focus using your Z skill and that's it. See that guys? No problem getting damage. You will also unlock here your final skill, the Spinning Bummer. This skill has the highest damage output which is really good for grinding. With this skill, your grinding now will be a lot faster. Our goal here is to reach level 220. Okay, next island, the prison. So here, there are three mini bosses. At 220, you can start defeating the Warden. There you go. You will defeat him until you reach level 230. So 
just find a wall here. There you go. Use your skills. I suggest use your Z and C skill, not the X skill. Because the X skill will just make things longer. There you go. Same strategy will be used with the other bosses. Again, at 230, you can start defeating the Chief Warden. Again, same strategy. Find the wall. Use your skills. Here is the proof. No damage. All you need to do is do some skills. Wait for it to cool down. And use your skills, okay? Okay, so at 240, you can defeat three bosses now. The Warden, the Chief Warden, and the Swan. So Swan, same strategy, the wall strategy. But after you use your skills, you're gonna create distance. You're gonna get hit by this skill. That's fine. His other skill has a higher damage. That's why I'm telling you to create distance. And just go near every time you use your skills. Okay, so the goal here is to reach level 350. Stat check, 180 melee, defense is 289, blast fruit 581. Next island, the Magma Village. So here, we're gonna start defeating the Magma Admiral. The boss in this island is located in the volcano. There you go. So to defeat him, use your skills. Dash, dash, dash. Guys, we don't have a wall here, so you need to be patient. Again, use your skills after that. Dodge his skills. And that's it, guys. We're halfway there, so just be patient, continue grinding, and you're gonna leave this area when you reach level 425. Again, we're gonna do a stat check. Melee is 200, defense 300, blast fruit 775. Next island is the underwater city. So here we're gonna start defeating the Fishman Lord. Guys, this boss is easy. Why? Because there is also a wall here that you can lure him to. There you go. Here. Okay, so you can start attacking him, Z, X, and C skill. You can use all your skills here. See that, guys? I'm using my X skill. On the previous bosses, I told you not to use it. But in this boss, yes, you can use it. And that means defeating this boss it will be a lot easier. We're gonna skip two mobs, which means we're gonna grind here until we reach level 500. Stat check. Melee 265, defense 365, 870, blast fruit. Next area is the upper yard in the Skylands. We're gonna go straight with the Whisperer. It's located here. There you go. So same strategy, guys. We're gonna use all our skills. And while waiting for it to cool down, that's the time for you to dodge. His cannon, bazooka, there you go. And after that, use your skills again. So that's it for this boss. For those wondering, yes, we're gonna skip the Royal Guards in the Royal Squad because I hate luring and this is near the spawn point. Which means all that's left is the Thunder God at 575. So he is located here. And that's it, guys. Use your skills. Same strategy with the Whisper. After that, dodge and use your skills. Our goal here is to reach level 675. And for the last island, the Fountain City. So here, we're gonna go straight to the final boss, Cyborg. There you go. So again, he's located here. Use your skills. Is there an easy way, gamer, not to defeat him? Yes. Guys, remember this area here? From here, you can damage him with long-range attacks. And his attacks won't hit you. Check that out. So after that, use your Z skill. Use your X skill if you want. Then go back to the tree. There you go. Again, memorize this area, okay? So I hope everything's clear. We're gonna defeat this until you reach level 700. And once you reach that level, you will unlock the prison quest. But before that, final stat check. There you go, 360 melee. Defense is 460, 1280 blast fruits. Next up, go to the prison, get the key. Go to the frozen village, defeat the ice admiral. Go back. To the prison, talk to the military detective, he will send you to the middle town, look for the experienced captain, and then the captain will send you to the second sea. So guys, that's it for this video. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this. For requests, comment it in the comment section. To all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I really appreciate you all. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out!